Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shadows Hi, used to hold me down. And welcome to Handmade down. by Dixie Tulip. I'm now, now my thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's ground. video, I'm going to share with you something that I um, had as my main Christmas present, but it's actually only just arrived. Um, and it's something that I absolutely love, so I want to share that with you and what my plans are for this um, going forward. Um, so I decided that I wanted something for Christmas that I could, like a sewing related accessory that I could wear with all the different garments that I make. Um, so for example, I love the enamel pins and I've purchased um, quite a few enamel pins, but I can only ever really wear them on jackets and on coats because I don't really want to be putting them on my dresses um, because of it leaving holes. Um, obviously you can't really wear them with jeans or trousers that you've made. Um, so I wanted something that was a little bit different. And I love wearing belts. I wear them with my jeans, my trousers, my dresses. Um, I'm always on the lookout for um, a nice belt. And what I decided is I wanted something um, like a sewing machine type belt buckle so that it draws attention and, and shows people that what I'm wearing is handmade. But I couldn't find one anywhere. I searched all over the internet and um, the only kind of sewing machine related belt buckle that I could find was one which didn't look very good at all. It had basically just got a piece of paper with a picture of a sewing machine um, sitting behind a plastic cover and um, that, that wasn't the style that I was looking for at all. I wanted a proper metal belt buckle in the shape of a sewing machine. So I um, searched high and low and then I actually found a local company which is only about 40 minutes up the road from where I live who specialise in making belt buckles. Of course, primarily they deal with businesses, um, but they did offer a service where if you wanted something bespoke making, um, then you can have it made. So I decided to have that as my main Christmas present because it, it, it wasn't all that, that, that cheap. In fact, it wasn't cheap at all. But now that I've had one made, <coughs> it means that I've got my cast there at the company so if ever I want any more different versions of the belt buckles um, I can order more. can't order them in kind of ones and twos because it's a, um, a company that deals with businesses, it's not retail um, so I would need to order um, minimum numbers of the buckle. So let me show you the buckle and then I will tell you a little bit more about so my plans. Here it is attached to a belt, let me just thread it through actually so you can see. See here is an example of the buckle that I've attached to a Liberty of London belt that I've made um, and what I'll do in a second is I'll take the buckle off so I can um, show you exactly how this works um, but yeah that's the buckle up close so it is metal it's a really nice quality. It's made to jewellery standard. It's metal and then I've chosen to have this one um, coated in like a pale grey ceramic um, with the pink tulip. So one of the, the key things for me is that I wanted this to be interchangeable. So let me just show you how it works. If I open it up, you can see, I'm just checking on my watch that I am in focus. You can see what I've done is I've attached the belts, oops, which way am I going, um, with plastic snaps and what that then means is the buckle is totally interchangeable. So I can remove the belt and then you can see here, this is what I've made so far. Um, so yeah, four different versions here. Um, and then they're all interchangeable, so you can just click them onto the belt buckle. Okay, so hopefully you can see there, um, I decided to go for quite um, a larger 
size so that it's noticeable with jeans and dresses and things um, so yeah you can see it's a more of a modern shape sewing machine and it's got really nice detail it's got the um, uh, the knobs it's got the needle plate and just to show you how it works on the back so just to show you how it works on the back so you've got this bar here which is what you thread the um, belt through and then you've got the little spoke which sits through the hole on the belt so let me show you so you can see here so what I would do sorry I'm going a bit backwards so a thread the belt through the buckle and fasten the press studs and then the belt threads through and then I've got eyelets and then you basically push that through the back of an eyelet now what I have done Just to give it, obviously if you were using leather or something like that you wouldn't need to do this but because um, this is fabric and not as thick what I've also done is got a silicone backing which just gives it that little bit more stability and um, stops the um, buckle coming undone on the belt. So yeah that's it. So what I've done, just to give you an idea of how I'm working with this um, belt, what I did for a week is I wore it every day with a different outfit and I've done a very quick video just to show you what outfit I'm wearing it with. Now you may notice when I'm showing you um, that I haven't got the eyelets set in on the belt because I was a little bit impatient and I was waiting for the eyelet machine and the eyelets to um, arrive in the post but I wanted to crack on and um, get get videoing um, so yeah if you notice there's not the eyelet set in that's why it's because they they only arrived a few days ago so what I'll do is I'll flick over to the um, videos which show you the belt worn with outfits and then I'll come back in and tell you what my plans are okay so just to show you today's outfit I'm actually wearing a dress today getting ready for spring this is the dress that I made from the lovely duvet cover and if I just show you the belt up close so you can see with this one what I've done is I've used a like a sage green spotty cotton fabric because I think that works well with there's lots of different colors and lots of different prints in this fabric and the green spotty just pulls out the um, undertones of the green um, and then obviously with the uh, machine being grey that works well with all the colours as well but then the pink tulip just pink uh, just pulls out some of the pink tones as well so that's today's outfit okay so just to show you today's handmade outfit that I have teamed with the sewing machine buckle um, so the main uh, handmade uh, garment is the gypsum skirt so I'm sure I've shared this before but it's a really basic shape skirt with a quite a wide elasticated waist and I've um, teamed that with a plain top and a leather back biker style jacket um, and I have got attached a Liberty of London floral belt so it adds a nice splash of colour I think with the buckle and the grey version of the buckle um, I do think uh, it matches with any colour really which is why I chose grey um, but I think that just um, blends quite well with that outfit Okay, so today's handmade outfit is my lovely blush pink linen Xena dress. I think that's what it was called by Han London Xena. Um, and I have teamed this one with, can you see there, the um, pink Liberty of London fabric belt. Of course, with the grey um, enamel sewing machine. Let me just come in, show you a bit closer. 
Um, so yeah, you can see this belt has got uh, different shades of pink and green, which I think work well with the pink of the linen. Um, and then of course the gray machine, which goes with any color really, um, but it does bring out the pink of the tulip. That's it, that's today's outfit. Okay, so today's outfit is the gypsum skirt again. So you have seen this before. Um, I'll show you in a second, but this time teamed with a plain um, turtleneck sweater and then a floral um, belt that's been added to the buckle to give it a little bit more detail. Hopefully you can see there. Um, so yeah, it's another Liberty of London fabric. Uh, this one is, but with more kind of peaches and browns and um, greens to, 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 to work better with the um, kind of caramel type colours. Um, and obviously the grey enamel belt. Okay, so today's handmade outfit is ginger jeans. So I've teamed the belt with um, jeans to, to give you a different look. Um, so it's ginger jeans and an Ogden cami in linen. Um, and that's just teamed with a cardigan. Uh, it's a ready to wear cardigan that I purchased way before I could sew. So um, hopefully you'll see me walking around in the background with the outfit on, but I'll just come in and show you the belt in a bit more detail. Okay, so you can see on this one, it's another Liberty of London fabric belt, um, but this time it's with nice pastels and uh, pastel pinks and peaches and yellows and things um, like that. So great for summer. Um, the buckle, um, I think it again works well with the um, gray buckle and the um, pink in the tulip picks out in the belt as well but I also think that this would look great in the rose gold version of the buckle as well once I've got that, so I can't wait to try that out as well. Okay, so just to show you today's handmade outfit, um, it is, in fact, I'm wearing some ready to wear and some handmade today, so the ready to wear is the shirt and the cardigan. Um, but the handmade is the mini circle skirt. Uh, so, hope again, I'll be walking around in the background to show you. Um, but just to show you the belt that I've um, put on with this. So hopefully you can see um, that I've got the, this skirt is actually an elasticated waist skirt and it's got mustard coloured elastic. But what I've done is I've teamed this with the sage green spotty belt to bring out the green of the skirt and the skirt didn't have belt loops and I didn't have any of this fabric left but what I did find in my stash was some mustard cotton so I just made some belt loops out of the mustard cotton so that's today's outfit okay so just to show you today's handmade outfit today is the hopefully I'll be walking around again in the background it's the ginger jeans with the Colette Aster, is it Aster? No, Colette Laurel um, dress that has been um, hacked off and turned into a top. And I've teamed it with the, you can see, the uh, sage green spotty fabric. Again, just ignore the fact that the um, holes aren't punched into the belt correctly yet. I'm waiting, still waiting for my island machine to arrive. Um, so yeah, this one is um, the green spotty fabric. I think what I would like to do is make another um, spotty one maybe in pinks or a red maybe to go with this top um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like. So that's today's outfit. Okay so just to show you today's handmade outfit. Today I'm wearing the closet case patterns Jenny overalls but they are the trouser version. Um, so these are made from a Liberty of London cord. Uh, like a, a fine needle cord um, and they've got lots of gorgeous colours in them and I have teamed them with the belt a bit of a clash going on but a purpose clash here. so yeah a bit of a clash going on with the um, fabrics but that's the look I was going for so this one is a grey 
and white floral belt um, so because the trousers have got um, bits of grey in them so I thought that would um, bring out the bits of grey in there as well. I'm standing on a stool so I might be a little bit wobbly but that is today's belt. Okay so today's handmade outfit is a Betty dress, a, a lovely pink Betty dress that I made um, actually for a friend's wedding. Um, it's not the normal type of fabric that you would have for the Betty because it is quite um, a heavyweight um, I'd say it's the type of cotton that you'd make a jacket out of or something like that, but it actually worked out quite well on the dress. Um, so again, hopefully I'm walking around in the background so you can see what it looks like. But let me just show you which belt it's with. So, just move the microphone out of the way. This one is a uh, another Liberty of London in these gorgeous pastel pinks, purples, yellows, greens, um, which I think works really well with this dress. Um, and I like how the pink of the tulip picks up the pink of the dress as well. So that's today's outfit. Okay, so I hope that gave you a good idea of how this belt works with different outfits. I'm, I'm honestly sewing belt loops onto everything, onto my dresses, onto my skirts, because um, I think it's a really good way to um, add something unique. So you're, obviously your garments are already handmade, but I think this is a good way um, adding a little bit more uniqueness um, with the different fabric belts and of course the sewing machine belt buckle. So what I've decided to do, um, because obviously I've paid to have the design, my design made up and, and paid for the cast, which means I can get more versions of these made. I've decided that I'm going to get some made in different colours. So um, I'm thinking of getting one in rose gold, one in standard gold and maybe one in silver as well. And that, what I was also thinking of doing is um, ordering some extra of these so that I can offer a small quantity of them for sale. So um, do watch this space. Obviously, it's going to take me some time because I need to save up enough to buy um, a batch of the buckles so that I can offer them um, for sale. And because of the minimum numbers that you have to order from, from the company that manufactures them. Um, but do watch this space, I will keep you posted um, as and when I'm getting to um, offer these for sale. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, offer um, a a belt buckle but then with a kit to make a belt as well so different fabrics um, and then of course I would provide the snaps and the eyelets and the interfacing and things you need to make the belts and also some instructions so I'd include a little instruction booklet and also a video over here on YouTube on how to make the belts. So that's it that's what I wanted to share with you today I honestly absolutely love it I do wish I'd got a rose gold one because um, I can imagine it working really really well with lots of different outfits in rose gold so I can't wait to get one in that color but I like the gray because that does go with um, any different color outfit any different color belt as well that the gray works with with any colors at all so I hope you like it. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and as I say, I'll keep you posted with when I get the new colours and when I'm in a position where I can offer them for sale. So have a wonderful week, whatever you're up to, and I will see you very soon. Bye. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prayer